Hi, my name is Melanie Pike, and today I'm going to be showing you a painting of an owl. I'm going to be using acrylic on canvas, and I do have a reference photo here that I'm going to be working from. And um, this is um, inspired by some biblical imagery. I get a lot of ideas out of the Bible. The owl symbolizes living in isolation, um, but I think that's not always a bad thing. I think spending some time alone can be quite good, so I want to show the positive aspects of that. So how I'm going to start the actual painting today is by spraying the background with water to help the background wash to blend and then using a large paintbrush using a combination of white and yellow ochre to just do some horizontal strokes like that. There's going to be an owl off to one side and then kind of an interesting landscape in the background. So I'll finish that. Okay, so with my background wash laid in, I'm going to go to the next step, which is um, to use the palette knife to um, add some texture to the background and create more of a landscape type scene here. So for that, I'm going to use some um, burnt umber um, right out of the jar here. I'm just going to dip in and um, my background wash is still wet, so it's going to kind of blend a bit like that. And I want more horizontal strokes than vertical because it is a landscape, so the land can go like this. I may add some white and do some sky here as well. But I want to keep it sort of um, moody, sort of lonely feeling too, like a desert. So, so back and forth like that. There can be some, some bumps and ridges as if it's rocky here. And some mountains. You can kind of pick where the horizon line is going to be. Maybe up here. And then you want some contrast between the foreground and the back sky area. And also when your scene moves forward, it goes from lighter, usually to darker or more contrasting up here. I'll leave some room here for my owl. It's going to take up a good portion of the canvas. The palette knife across and then dabbing it too to create some lift and some texture. You can really get nice um, um, thick texture with the, the palette knife. So now it's start, time to start the main feature, which is the owl. So I'm just going to use um, a wider flat brush and just block in the main shape of that that owl where I want it to sit here. And I want it to take up a good portion of that canvas because the background here is really secondary. So I just wanted to keep that loose and abstract. And even the owl here, it's going to be fairly sketchy, fairly um, expressively painted, almost um, like an impressionist painting. So it's just sort of dabs of paint and the background paint is still wet and that's okay. I'm just using that to, um, the brush is now picking up that color and spreading it around. So, Okay, so the, there's the head there. Um, the wing is kind of tucked in beside him and the other one too. He's quite fluffy. So he's got lots of feathering in here. So um, rather than start to add too much detail yet, I'm just going to build up that color with some burnt umber, get a little bit more on my brush there to get a little bit stronger darks. Like so. And just continue to build that up. No detail yet in the face. I don't want to get too hung up on details just yet. I just want to block in the main image and just start building up the feathers I'm using a broad brush there. Just using dabs of paint here. So it looks really kind of light and feathery here. I can block in kind of where the eyes will be. He's got kind of um, fluffy eyebrows here. There we go. And he's sitting on a branch in my reference photo. So let's start to block in the branch too. I'm just holding the brush right now just like a pen. And just sort of dabs of short strokes and then sort of medium to long strokes here for the branch too to get that bark texture. It kind of flips up like that. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of build up those colors, just using still the three colors, just white, yellow ochre, and burnt umber. And then I'll be right back with you to show you the rest. So our owl is fleshing out quite nicely here, so I'm going to add um, some black to the brown to get some deeper darks to get some more contrast. And I'm also going to use a slightly smaller brush too, and gradually add detail, a little bit at a time, and just building that up. Now we're working wet on wet, because this is sort of a 
kind of a speed painting. You don't need to take a lot of time to do a painting if you do confident strokes and um, and just an expressive style like this that's not too concerned about some tight detail. Just let it um, kind of look flowy and sketchy a little bit. You can have quite a beautiful painting this way. So and now we're going to kind of outline where the feet are going to be here. The feet are kind of sticking out in front. So I might have to wait for that brown to dry a bit before I do the white fluffy feathers for the feet. But Okay, so just continuing to add a little bit more detail here and there. I'm kind of working all over at once, but... Okay, and then a little bit more detail to the face too, where the beak's going to be. And to define the eyes a little bit, you can do that now that you've got the smaller brush. And some knots in the wood and whatnot, and you're well on your way. Okay, so just building up the detail here, a little bit at a time still. I'm kind of all over. I'm, I'm working on the face and then I go back down here. So just sort of work all over the place. Right now I'm still building up the darks. I'll come back um, close to the end and just punch up the whites and give it uh, some nice bright highlights so it has some contrast against the background, which is not quite bright brights. An important thing to remember when you're painting an animal or a bird like this is to do the brush strokes in the direction that the feathers grow. So I'm still doing short, fairly short brush strokes because the feathers are short um, and I'm doing the strokes in the directions that the feathers are growing out of the owl. Okay, so that'll give you a more realistic look. And you can kind of blend and feather those feathers together so that it gives it a nice soft look. I'm just continuing to build up my colors and shades. My next step would be um, to use a smaller brush and do the fine details in the eyes, the beak, and the toes, and also to add those um, bright highlights at the end. And this is all just in three colors. The, well four, sorry, white, black, yellow ochre, and burnt umber. Just in layers and layers and building that up. The great thing about acrylic paint is that if, you, if you're not happy with how it's turning out, you can paint right over it when it's done. With a thicker texture like this, though, you might have trouble working over top of that thick texture. So if you know you're going to paint over it, just try and scrape off the parts that you're going to be changing. So you don't have the texture popping up from underneath. Or you could sand it, too. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes to show you how it's going and give you some ideas for some final touches on it. Okay, so my painting's coming along really well. Um, I'm going to come back to an, it in about an hour or so. Okay, so our owl painting is coming along great. Um, just a few finishing touches I think I'll do in about an hour when it's dry. The paint's quite thick right now, so it um, kind of limits sometimes how, um, how I can work and manipulate the paint. Um, as a finishing touch though I like to add a little sparkle in the eye with a little bit of white paint on the tip of this brush here and that just brings the owl to life, gives him a little bit of personality there, just a dab maybe on either side to give him a, a little bit of an expression there. I've lost the, um, the darkness of this eye though so there we go. Okay, thanks so much for watching my demo video. Um, you can visit melpike.com um, to see more of my paintings and mural work. And um, also, if you like this video and want to see more, please comment on it and subscribe. Thank you very much. <coughs>